So this is the transmitter upgrade video. I'm gonna show you guys how I actually kind of built mine. I'm gonna reverse engineer it, kind of take it apart, show you how I kind of laid it all out internally and how I cut the case to kind of get everything in the right sort of place. So if we take a closer look, you can see that all the modifications have really been done to the front case. So the first obvious one is the hole in the front case that goes just under the U here. Drill this hole out using a drill bit that's just smaller than the hole needs. Then using a file, open that hole up very slowly, making the hole bigger and just checking with the adapter to make sure that it's a snug fit. So the next step was to drill a hole to put the top of the adapter cable through. This cable actually splits at the top, so you only need to make the hole big enough for the top section. So we're going to do the same thing as you did in the front, drilling initially with a smaller drill bit and then opening it up slowly with a file. This hole does get close to the edge of the case. So just take your time with this one as you really want the top of that adapter to fit kind of snugly in that hole. Once you're happy with it, use some thick strong glue around it. I just use this very thick Gorilla Glue. So this glue will take a kind of couple hours to set, but the initial kind of drying does happen within about the first 10 to 15 minutes. So once it's kind of partially dried, you can move on to doing the next part. So run the cable so it goes around and kind of below these supporting bits of plastic here. You'd also want to do a really nice kind of wide curve at the bottom so it doesn't bend or pinch the cable. You'll then want to use some fast drying super glue just to keep it in place. For the next bit, we're going to want to make a small hole by the clip up here that will allow you to put the cable through. I did mine with a small file like this. Once everything is dried, you'll then need to put it back together. So take your back cover and then thread the antenna cable through like this. You then want to slot the cable into the groove you've made here. Then you want to click all these pieces together. Then put the connector through the front of the case like this. You should feel it click as it connects into the mud board. And just as a visual reference, this is what the connection will look like without the case on. You can then put the screws into the back of the case and the antenna onto the top of the mount. So that's it. It's a really simple build to do. Looks really neat, works really well. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. I'm gonna try and kind of keep on top of it if you uh, wanna ask me anything or if you have any uh, kind of queries about doing this build. Anyway, thanks so much for watching this video and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one.